ongoing fire situation in Rockton, uh, the EPA, uh, the Illinois EPA issued an air quality alert uh, for all of Winnebago County. However, the air quality alert uh, only applies for now for the Rockton area. So it's mostly just within that three mile zone where they recommend wearing a mask, uh, but this could vary because of weather conditions. So that's why the Illinois EPA put out the air quality alert for all of Winnebago County in case that zone grows or shrinks because of the changing weather conditions. So if you get alert about an air quality alert, it's mostly for the Rockton area. But keep in mind uh, that zone may grow from Rockton if weather conditions are just right, which is why that whole county is under that air quality alert. And we explained this earlier on in the broadcast, but temperature inversions may be in play here. We had one last night. We have uh, some likely the next couple nights, uh, but inversion is when the cooling earth heats the air above it, and that creates kind of a lid on the atmosphere, which then prevents rising air from going any further. And this is where we can get cloudy conditions, very foggy conditions, or in this case, smoke trapped a lot closer to the ground so the air quality can go way down as a result of that smoke being stuck much closer to the ground. So those inversions will be something that we'll have to keep an eye on the next couple nights uh, because of clear and calm conditions and that potential smoke trapping. Uh, so the air quality forecast from the EPA does have moderate conditions for the next couple days, generally around our area. So uh, air quality is looking okay, but not necessarily all the way up to good because of that smoke still drifting around in the air. So if you're in a group that's uh, such as uh, you've got asthma or something uh, that can be irritated by all this, continue to take those precautions over the next couple days. Wind direction, a big factor here, mainly out of the east to north currently. And as you look at future track, we'll continue to have northerly winds through tomorrow. So it's going to continue to blow the smoke uh, in the direction it's been the past day or so. We then get into Wednesday night and the wind starts to change more to out of the southeast and eventually out of the southwest into Thursday. So that could end up blowing the smoke in the opposite direction going into the end of the week. So we'll have to monitor to see just how much smoke's coming out and how the wind may uh, factor in. So for tonight, down to 52 under clear conditions, fairly calm winds. That's why a temperature inversion could be in play overnight. Tomorrow afternoon, 85, slightly cooler under a mainly sunny sky. And then we have to keep an eye on Thursday night into Friday. Slight risk for severe weather across the Midwest. You can see that we're at that marginal risk, one out of five on our scale. Uh, there could be a storm or two that gets to severe stress strength, mainly Thursday night into Friday morning. So let's take a look at future track. You can see that uh, uh, late as of uh, Thursday night, we have the storms brewing up and here we are at about one in the morning entering the state line and we'll continue to have scattered showers and thunderstorms into early Friday. It looks like that midnight round is where we could see more of a stronger activity with lingering uh, weaker storms through about sunrise and then Friday looking clear after that. Widespread rainfall potentially, so that could be one benefit. We get a, snow, a soaking rain at least momentarily at the end of the week, which will definitely help out our very dry conditions. Near 90 the next couple days, and then cooling off this weekend behind those storms. In fact, we could see the 70s by early next week. And in your most accurate 10 day forecast, we continue to have uh, very low risks for storms, though possibly late next week we may see a little more beneficial rainfall, James. Yeah, definitely need that rain, Alex.